We built a portable solar generator for our off-grid wilderness camp. We will walk you through the entire process, describe each component, and demonstrate how it powers our entire camp, even charging our golf carts. Join us as we harness the power of the sun and take another step towards regenerative living in the Florida Wildlife Corridor. This has been powering our camp here for, we've been here a week through all types of weather. The batteries have made a full charge. It's, we'll show you all the stuff it's running. Refrigerator, freezer, lights, fans, uh, charging our golf cart, our water pumps. It's really worked out very well. An off-grid echo camp, solar generator, in a toolbox. The makings of a really serious solar generator. That's a 4,000 watt inverter. And we're gonna power it with six 350 watt solar panels. Off-grid power, coming up. So this is gonna be a solar generator on a toolbox trailer. We got this funky trailer with two toolboxes on it. This side has a nice lock, so we're gonna build our solar generator on this side with three 100 amp hour, 24 volt lithium phosphate batteries. Okay, so we're now just getting the wood together to make some mounting plates for our electronics to go in the toolbox, which will sit over the batteries and keep things separated well. All right, so we have three 24 volt lithium phosphate batteries. We're gonna connect them in parallel. You have one big 300 amp hour, 24 volt battery. Okay. All right, you already have the wiring. This is all set up. So I'm thinking we'll put, these are for the negative terminal, yeah. the positive terminals. We can have each of these like this. Right there on the side. Okay. Then we can probably wire it together pretty okay. straightforward. So this is a 60 amp rich solar charge controller. This takes hooks directly up to the solar panels and goes through a PV disconnect switch so we can isolate the electricity coming from the solar panels. And we'll charge our batteries. We got our solar panel. Input will come right here. And these will go to the batteries. Nice. All, all ready, wired, ready to go. And we're going to mount move. it in the box. We're going to mount it on these plywood. Plywood slips right in. Slide up back right and forth. These PV disconnect switches are a really important safety feature that some people forget about. This isolates your solar panels, which is the source of your power, from your entire system with a strip of a switch. Plus, it's fused. So if your solar panels were to get hit by lightning or have a power surge for whatever reason, all your electronics would be protected by this. Really important. So when hooking up multiple batteries in parallel, the very safest way to do it is with bus bars. Yes, you could just jump, do jumpers from the terminal to terminals, but then you end up with a battery in the middle that may not discharge or be charged at the same rate as the other two on the ends. So this way, everything is connected with the same amount of cable. And so the charger will charge all three batteries evenly. And the inverter will, will draw electricity from all three batteries evenly. If you're gonna make your own solar cables, be sure to get both red and black solar panel wire. When I first started doing this, I had all black. And then if you're doing a long run, it gets confusing as to which is your positive and which is your negative. But if you keep them the positive red and the negative black, and then in, when it comes time to plug things in, you just gotta find the, uh, the plug that matches. Okay, so there's our positive input to the charge controller and our negative. And then this goes to solar panels. The whole purpose of solar generator is to provide 120 volt power. And that's done through this 4,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And this will surge up to 8,000 watts. So if you have an air conditioner that has a startup surge, this can handle it. And we will be running an air conditioner in our camper. So pure sine wave is important. You can run things with oscillating motors like fans and even like the fans on refrigerators and whatnot. So it has an important safety feature. We hook up directly to the batteries, but we've got this class T fuse, which is a major, major fuse to protect both the inverter and the batteries from surges. This outputs 120 power. We'll be using these four outlets. They're each 1500 watts of power. And because of the height of this, we're gonna put this right down in the bottom of the toolbox. 
While Trent's hooking up the, the battery cables, I'm going to get ready to build the solar panel wires that we need to connect our solar panels. So we're going to have six solar panels, three sets in series, all then connected in parallel. We'll show you how to do that. Again, I buy the solar panel wires in bulk, both red coil for the positives and black for the negatives. Keep everything separate. This nice kit, which we have links for, gives you everything that you need to put the uh, the terminals on the ends of these. It's really simple. I'll show you how quick, quick and easy it is. This is a disconnect switch, which will completely isolate both the charge controller and the inverter from the battery bank. Flip of the switch, the entire system shuts down. Be looking. It looks good. I'm just making sure it stays away from those ground wires as much as possible. And not come close to the side of the, the metal mm -hmm. box we're working with. Yeah. Here's the solar panel array for our off-grid echo camp. It's out here in a beautiful sunny spot facing south. These six panels here run our off-grid solar generator, which I'm going to show you. And the four panels behind me run our hot water heater as well as charge our golf cart. Okay, so you might wonder how we've got these wired up. All these panels are wired in series parallel. Let me explain. For the six array, we wired these three in series and these three in series. And this pair of series then gets wired together in parallel. Remember, when you wire in series, you add up the voltages. When you wire in parallel, you add up the amperages. So by doing series parallel, we get to boost both the voltage and the amperage. If you've seen our other videos, we love building solar generators in toolboxes. They're perfect. They're fireproof, weatherproof. Uh, we can put vents on them if we need air circulation. Have a look at this. So we have six solar panels hooked to the solar generator. Two series of three, and each series is hooked in parallel. That comes in here to a PV disconnect switch that allows us to isolate the solar panel energy from the system. The energy then flows into our rich solar charge controller, which in turn charges our SOK 24 volt battery bank, which is on the bottom. Then hooked to the battery bank, is a 4,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And then we run these heavy duty 10 gauge extension cords to wherever we need them in the, in the camp.